Okay, so today we're going to do a CNC video. Um, we're going to talk about using Easel, which is just a really quick and easy way to uh, generate some G-code. So, um, yeah, my previous video on this covered doing it with Fusion 360, uh, but I know who a lot of people aren't ready to jump straight into full-on CAD and CAM software. So uh, let's take a look at one of these uh, a little more simple ones. So create a new... Uh, project and this is a blank one I'd literally just created for doing the video uh, and all that we're gonna do in this one is discuss um, loading in an SVG file because this would be kind of like where you would first begin with some of the CNC stuff is you you found one of those websites that sells uh, uh, SVGs and you found some logo or icon or something on there that you wanted to cut with your CNC machine. Um, so yeah, let's load in our SVG that we found. Uh, I already grabbed one off the internet here and we're gonna cut a, um, uh, just engrave this, uh, sorry, not cut, uh, engrave this in a uh, piece of uh, butcher's block that I have. Um, so let's set our depth to what we want, which I wanted about a millimeter, so that's roughly a millimeter there and we are going to clear and pocket it we don't want your other options you have here are cut on shape outside or inside uh, but I want to clear and pocket it so I want it to look like that um, now we need to get it down to about the size we want so you can just drag it and we're gonna go for about that and we're using a different bit we're using a sixteenth of an inch bit and now let's zoom back in and get it to about what we want. So I want it around four inches. So that's a good size there. We're going to get it from being directly on the corner just so that way it gives us some play on uh, putting it on the CNC machine. Yeah, le less likely to cut out of bounds uh, if I didn't have everything lined up perfectly. Because uh, this is just a really quick tutorial here so um, now that we've uh, put our SVG in which all that we did is go here so this little icon here and then SVG that's how we imported it set our depth of cut on it here and uh, used our cut path which we wanted to clear and pocket uh, we get a nice little preview of what it should look like there so we can see that everything kind of fits and it's able to to cut this path uh, so now we need to go to uh, machine, and my machine is not uh, one of the ones that Inventable sells. Xcarve, uh, they sell they sell the Xcarve, and then the uh, Shapeaco and Carvey are all supported. But we're gonna go with other Gerber, um, and uh, yeah, this, these are just different models that are in there. Uh, I, do, I just don't select a model. You can set your work area and spin, spindle controls manual. So I've selected my machine. So now let's go to advance and just generate our V code, our G code, sorry. Um, export G code. Now we've downloaded it and uh, we can go put this on a thumb drive and take it over there and I'll show you how to uh, run it on um, Universal G code sender. Okay, so we have a mark of true professional video here using the uh, camera here to uh, record the screen of the laptop instead of screen recording, but whatever. Uh, so we got uh, Universal G Code Sender opened up here, and we got our Arduino plugged into the computer, which you can't see. Uh, but yes, the Arduino is plugged in, which runs uh, Gerbil or Gerbil or whatever you want to call it. I like to call it Gerbil. Um, we got it plugged in. We got Universal G Code Sender, so UGS. Um, get it opened up. Set your machine to its home. So move it. You know, jog it to your corner that you programmed your thing to work from, and then uh, just set your zero. So I've already set my zero. It's just kind of hard to show the screen and walk it over. And then all that you have to do to uh, run the g-code is open it up from your folder you have it in and then uh, just click send and that's that's all there is to it so let me uh, move the camera away from the screen and uh, get it focused in on the C 
CNC machine and I'll click the send button. Alright, well, um, I've always wanted to try my hand at it, and since this is my cutting board, let's, uh, let's try hitting this with a propane torch and, uh, see if we can get that to look nice. <laughs> Alright, so we hit it with a little fire action there, let's set the sandpaper over that, and, uh... Okay, well, uh, this pretty much concludes the video here, uh, hit it with the torch in the end, and, uh, I'm really happy with the way that came out. It looks a whole lot darker on camera, because I'm looking at the screen as I record it. It looks a lot darker right here than it really is, I mean, this blends naturally to right here's color while it looks darker than that but it, it, these two are really the same color in person right here and right there you can clearly tell like all of this area got torched even though i sanded it probably could sand it a little bit more and get it down but i don't want to start making a whole bevel over here or anything or start taking out these little dots so um yeah i'm really happy with the way this came out uh especially for something that was just going to be uh, scrap. Hopefully you guys liked the video. I really hope you learned something. I mean, I was just trying to do a really quick down and dirty video of like, hey, I found this SVG on the internet. I'm going to go load it into uh, some simple software to use. I happen to choose Easel because it's free, it's easy to use. They did not sponsor the video. Uh, I definitely don't think it's the greatest software in the world. Uh, it... I'm sure it would be like the greatest beginner software if you got the pro version of it. Um, but I, I'm just using the free trial version thing going on. And uh, I mean, it's it's really good for beginners. It's nice and simple and just, you know, it gets the job done without uh, putting too many of those features right in front of your face um, and getting you kind of nervous about it as a beginner. So uh, I do recommend it as a beginner software, somebody just trying to, you know, do something nice and simple like this. I mean, I could have cut this out of the wood had I had a bit longer and made it bigger, but I obviously didn't want to do that. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. 